It's Valentine's weekend and it's This Week in Rideshare News. Now this one is really rough. Now an Uber driver is now in police custody because he was chasing down another car that rear-ended him. Then fled the scene and then this guy decides to pursue that car with passengers in his vehicle. Uh, this happened past this past Monday and the passengers live streamed the event. The guy is charged with two counts of reckless driving, kidnapping, hit and run because it got into a, an accident. It is absolutely crazy. Check this out. And we running through red lights, like two people almost hit us. Hey, yo. Okay. I oh just want to get out. God. Like I got four kids. Tell him that he needs to stop. Okay, he can hear you, ma'am. He can hear you. He can Oh, 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 oh my God, Shorty! He, he just somebody just hit us. He's trying to catch the man. We're on the we're on the boulevard now. I'm in pain. My whole side hurt. Now this couple describes this as like the scariest moment of their lives. Uh, they were extremely upset, obviously, and they thought this guy was pretty crazy and that they might even lose their lives. Um, They've done a ton of interviews just describing their experience. So if you Google it, I'm sure you guys can find it. But I mean, can you believe it? He's chasing a guy that hit his car. He actually ends up hitting another car. Like, oh my God, this is such a mess. An Uber driver that specializes in rides for illegal border runs was sentenced to a year in prison. Uh, this guy, Jess Winder Singh, is a citizen of India living here in the United States. Uh, he admitted to transporting illegal aliens from the border uh, between Canada and US and bringing them further into the US for profit. Uh, when he was arrested, he actually picked up two people and he was paid $2,000 for that ride. Now he faces a year in prison, as I stated, and he also faces um, deportation prosecution as well um, if he is not deported then he will end up staying in the country obviously and um, being supervised for two years this was a thought that I had I wondered if um, drivers were going across the border and that sort of thing and so it's interesting that man <laughs> people are doing everything out here Okay, so now Uber is testing a pilot program in Arizona, and this program is pretty unique. Riders can call a phone number to request a ride. Initially, this was set up for seniors, but I think anyone can do it. You can just dial 1-833-USE-UBER. You'll connect to a live operator, and you'll be able to do all the things that you we can do on the app, Uber X, Uber Black, that sort of thing. Um, there are no additional fees for this service. And although everyone can use it, they do prefer that people still use the app, of course. And uh, like I said, right now they're doing this in Arizona. So um, it'll be interesting to see if they roll this out in other parts of the country. Uh, if you guys use Uber, uh, would you, just a question, would you guys actually call a ride or would you okay for you guys that use uber w which would you prefer to call and schedule a ride or schedule it on the app my thoughts are younger folks would probably prefer the app because you can see what's going on and um, i think with the older generation they're more used to calling uh, cabs and so interesting to see if the popularity with uber increases with the senior population and so for my last segment, what would you do? I'm going to read this to you guys. It's going to be on the screen. Crazy thing happened last night. I saved a guy's life. No joke. I wanted a little extra quick cash for Valentine's Day. So I did a few hours of Uber. My passenger fell asleep, or so I thought. When we arrived to their destination, my passenger wouldn't wake up and he started gurgling. So of course I called 911. He had a pulse and he was breathing. So I wasn't too concerned, but then he stopped breathing and his pulse slowed significantly. I dragged him out of the car. He wasn't a small guy, and I started CPR in the middle of the road, then he, then the pulse stopped. I continued with CPR, hollering at him to stay with me with the combat medic, 
when a combat medic stopped to help. The medic did the breathing while I did the chest compressions and we were able to bring his pulse back and he started gurgling again. We continued the CPR until the paramedics arrived and took over. It wasn't long after my passenger regained consciousness, you guys. The paramedics told me that he OD'd. Lord Jesus. And he was, I said that part. And he was lucky that he, that I was his Uber driver. Otherwise, he would have most likely died. Life is precious, y'all. Never resort to drugs, no matter how bad life gets or how much fun you want to have. Happy Valentine's Day. Tom McDonald, kudos to you. I saw this on Twitter and I see that you, uh, he posted the story on Facebook. So I'm going to include his link. If you guys want to give Tom a shout out for saving this man's life, please feel free to do so. Um, I've just got chills reading that. Like, that's so amazing. I, um, I know CPR. I was CPR certified as a kid. Uh, haven't done it on anybody ever couldn't imagine having to do it um, but wow you know you just never know when you need those kind of skills so I'm getting certified <laughs> hopefully you guys had a wonderful Valentine's Day uh, remember not everybody celebrates Valentine's Day on Friday so you have a chance to make money tonight and tomorrow um, I believe Monday is a holiday for a lot of people so you might see you might actually be able to make some money too on monday so um i would just say if you guys are going to work this weekend dinner is the best option there might be some brunches or things going on on sunday but it is the second week end of the month that means people are going to be spending money because they spent their money on their mortgage and their rent and all their other bills so it's a great weekend for you to make some skrilla scratch that would be money for those of you guys who don't know what skrilla scratch is at any rate i'm glad that you guys are here Check me out every single Saturday, 5 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. No, I'm not going to be here, but my video will be. I shoot it every single Friday, and so by the time you get this, the news cycle may be a little bit old, but I try to do my best in grabbing the most interesting things of the week. If you have a suggestion, please let me know. You can always leave that in my uh, you can always leave that on my Facebook or my YouTube. That is Drive Girl Drive. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Peace out. One love. Make a lot of money. And I'll see you next week. Bye.